something is going on here. We are at 82% state of charge, full sunshine. It is uh, close to 2 p.m. now. The tilt system makes only 560 watts. And I've also seen that the Multi Plus has increased the frequency already to 51.5 Hertz. So it is actually throttling down by tilt system. Question is why? Why is this happening? I recently upgraded to the newest firmware of the Multi Plus, the uh, 5, whatever it says here. And now it's throttling the tilt system already at 82% state of charge. In fact, I've seen exactly this at already 40% state of charge. And the frequency should only increase once the battery gets full. When we hit 55.2 volts of system voltage and we are far below that. Not even close. Well guys, welcome back to the off grid garage here in sunny hot Australia. It's the sunniest and hottest Australia. This is probably how you imagine Australia, right? We've got super blue sky super bright sun and like 35 degrees in the shade and we have 75 76 amps outside only only because well because it is so hot I have limited the charging capability of my system here I have throttled down all the solar charge controllers because in these conditions I don't need to charge fast I've got all day long, the sun will shine all day until six o'clock, until it goes down. I've got all the time in the world to fully charge my battery. So, and I'm seeing this frequency increase for a couple of weeks now, pretty much since I upgraded the Multi Plus to the newest firmware version. And I was 100% sure that this is a bug. But no, it is not. It is because I'm throttling down my charging here. So let me show you what has happened. So, and this would be your normal setup here. This is completely unthrottled now. So we've got maximum power from the DC solar here on the sheds, as well as maximum power from our AC tilt system on the house, which feeds back in as an AC power into the Multi Plus. So currently we have zero watts AC loads because, because what the tilt system produces is more than our loads. I only have the pool pump running and the sped fridge. So all the surplus, goes into our charging as well. 712 watts going through the Multi Plus into the battery. This is our normal situation now. And I'm charging the battery now with 138 amps yeah, into the battery. Even I've got something connected at the house here with the extension cables, maybe the dishwasher is running or something like this, I don't know. So we are still charging with 130 amps into the battery. Since I've shown you, the battery temperature has risen 0.5 degrees already. This was like five minutes ago since I turned off my throttling. So, and as I said, I don't need to charge that fast, you know? I can slow down because I still have another three or four hours of full sunshine and we are already at close to 90% state of charge now. So I can actually throttle it down, take it easy and the battery is not heating up that much. Two days ago, three days ago, can't remember, we had like 40 degrees here as well and the battery temperature was over 40 degrees. I'm trying to totally avoid that and in my opinion this is far too hot. This is not good for the battery if you do this all the time. And I'm not doing it all the time because it's not that hot all the time here. But in summertime it can be a few weeks where we have these weather conditions and then the battery gets really hot. So I throttle it down and the battery stays like 5 or 6 degrees cooler. So for this to happen I usually go into the remote console of the Victron system, go into settings and go into my DVCC and I'm turning this on. I have nothing else activated in the DVCC except the limit charge current 200 amps. So this is now activated. If we go back into the VIM, we can see the charging current has now lowered to only 70 amps because these amps plus the amps of your DC system makes these 100 amps. Yeah? So the more DC power I use inside the house, the less will go into the battery. But this is fine. Even 70, 71, 73 amps into the battery is totally sufficient. It will fully charge the battery today. And you can see the PV chargers have throttled down from 8 kilowatts to only 5 kilowatts. 
and also the frequency has now shifted from 50 hertz to 51.5 hertz and now the Victron system does something very clever it limits our AC power to match our AC load and we can see this down here the multi plus is actually only doing 30 watts now it's delivering 30 watts sometimes it's taking 3 watts so it's actually idling yeah and the system does this on purpose it shifts now the frequency to match our PV inverters output to our load so if I turn on some load let me turn on the lights there we go got some lights on now we can actually see that the output of our AC solar is now slightly increasing to actually match this increased load and the multi plus is still on 15 watts now so it's idling yeah and only if there's a huge demand and the AC solar cannot deliver enough energy it will use the multi plus to add additional energy to supply your loads and I told you I have upgraded the multi plus a few weeks ago to the newest firmware and since then this situation was happening that I could see at that I could see a frequency increase at about 40 or 50 percent state of charge already and I always thought geez what is going on something is not right with this firmware and I googled and googled and read in forums and nobody else seemed to have the problem and then I realized okay this was when our hot season started here when the temperatures were rising when we got like 35 40 degrees outside I slowed down the charging with the limit charge current enabled and of course it needs to limit the output of the AC solar as well 680 watts would be used by my load and the other 600 watts would be additional power into my battery well you could argue now it could slow down the PV chargers the DC chargers then but this is not efficient you know we are charging AC here that means we've got DC panels going into an inverter which makes AC out of it transfer it over to the garage through the multi plus the multi plus makes DC out of it to charge our batteries DC AC DC again so on every time you're losing six seven eight nine ten percent depending while if I use my PV chargers here which are purely 100% MPPT so DC powered they charge my battery with around 99% efficiency it can't be that so it uses my DC chargers to charge the battery and it uses my AC charger to supply power to my AC load so AC stays with AC and DC stays with DC makes totally sense but I could not get my hand around it okay let me turn on a larger load for example the hot water system so this will add another 1.5 kilowatts on top of my AC load and it would exceed what we can actually produce with our AC tilt system hot water is turned on right now so we will see the AC load now jumping to 1.4 kilowatts 1.2 and we can also see that the AC tilt system is now ramping up and the frequency goes down to 50 Hertz again even we have the 100 amps limit set so and now additional power is coming from the battery or from our solar into the multi plus to supply this hot water system and I think because it's already in the afternoon now I've got some shading here on the carport already and maybe on the west roof as well yes definitely and even the east roof this is probably my maximum power six and a half kilowatts in the afternoon and you can see it takes the system a few seconds here to adjust we are still having 72 amps into the battery 27 amps into my DC load these two together make the 100 amp limit I've set and my AC tilt system now outputs 100% to supply my AC loads well and these additional 1024 watts need to come from my DC solar now so if I turn off my hot water system again watch the frequency here and watch the current here in the battery yeah we are exceeding now we are overshooting the goal of 100 amps now you can see the frequency is going up to 51 Hertz AC solar is throttling down to match my AC loads again and then we are exactly where we were before yeah and exactly these 51 Hertz here at 40 or 50 or 60 percent state of charge threw me off I did not understand why this is happening why it is already increasing the frequency at this low state of charge it should charge maximum power into the battery but no 
if you have a current limit set in the DVCC, it won't. It won't exceed this current limit, of course. Yeah, I've just turned on the hot water again, and now you can see the MultiPlus is delivering another 1000 watts, which goes into my hot water system and the AC solar maximum power output at this afternoon time. Okay, guys, I think this concludes the video from this hot afternoon. I thought I'd share these findings here with you guys, just in case someone is in the same boat and cannot figure out why the frequency increases at 50% state of charge already and the AC solar output is not at maximum peak. Well, this is exactly why. The Victron system does it efficient. It charges your batteries from the DC system and charges your AC loads from the AC system and regulates both to match your charging limit you have set. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all these wonderful and beautiful people out there who have donated recently. I am calibrating only one spat a day, if at all. Most of the calibration is now cold water. Well, I clearly cannot drink beer all day long, right? Not even as a German. It is far too hot for that. Guys, and until the next video, when I show you another issue I had with the battery shelf, um, which I can hopefully solve. Until then, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. All right, definitely back in the pool now.